Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's get into the video. So this is week 4 assignment of programming in Java quiz assignment. So oh, please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip, you may miss some content or any changed answers. So please watch full video. Friends, I hope every solution is correct. But if you have any suggestions or if you want there is any changes you can comment in the comment section so i will validate it and change the answer if needed otherwise i think uh, every solution is correct only so before the submission day you can once again visit the comment sections uh, to mark any changes if necessary otherwise uh, this will be correct moving on to the first question which of the following is the correct statement for creating a package? So the general syntax is package space package name. So the correct answer for first question is option D. So mark option B as correct answer for first question. Moving on to second question. Which of the following source file cannot be included in a package? So, for second question, the answer is option D, data. Generally, package contains classes, interfaces, enumerations and also annotations. So, data is not given. So, the answer could be option D, data. And moving on to the third one. Which of the following is or are used to access a public package? So, here there are multiple uh, answers for this third question. They are first option, refer to the member by its fully qualified name, option A. And option B, import the package member. And the other one is option C, import the member's entire package. So, there are three answers, option A, B and C. So moving on to the fourth question. Which of the following statement is or are false? They are asking the false statement. So for fourth question, the answer is option A. Java packages are hierarchical. Generally, they appear to be hierarchical, but they are not. So, option A. So, mark option A as correct answer for fourth question. And moving on to the fifth question. So, they gave, uh, consider the program given below. They gave a code. And they are asking what will be the output if the above program is executed. So, here we have used 2 into pi. What is mean by pi? Generally, we know that pi is 3.14. But uh, the, the Java program does not know what is pi. So, we have to define a package or define a library uh, to know make sure that library should be included in the program so that pi should be known but here the pi uh, is not known to this compiler so it will not give you the expected output so it will give the compile time error because it doesn't know the meaning of pi so the output is option a And moving on to the sixth question. Which of the following is the minimum requirement for executing a Java program? Guys, for uh, this is somewhat slight tricky question because uh, minimum requirement for executing a Java program is JRE is enough. JRE is enough. So on that note, uh, option D can be correct, but in option B, 
they give JRE. We already said that JRE is the uh, minimum requirement we can get. So B also can be correct. I am saying the solution based on the logic that only J JRE is enough without JDK. So on that note, option D will be correct. And JRE itself is also an option in my view. So I think option B and uh, along with option D is also correct. So B and D can be the correct answers. Guys, they may give a single option as correct also. Uh, I am not sure about what they will give. But according to the meaning, as per the merit of the question, I think both B and D will be correct. So they are asking the minimum requirement. So minimum requirement is JRE. Even though without JDK, only JRE is also enough. So I think B and D are correct answer uh, because they give multiple uh, check boxes. It means multiple answers may or may not be correct. So I think two options are correct. When coming to the seventh question, here they did not mention any check box. Here they mentioned radio button. So only one option is correct. Uh, we can compare sixth and seventh question. Which of the following is required for developing a Java program? For develop, developing a Java program, we need JDK. So, but uh, in order to develop a Java program, first we have to have JRE and along with that we have to have JDK. But JDK is the definite requirement. Here, actually if they have given multiple choice, we can go with... Uh, both JDK and JRE but they gave only a uh, single answer so JDK is the correct answer unlike this question in the above question they have asked uh, they have given multiple options so those two are correct according to that question and for seventh question option A moving on to the question which of the following statement is or are correct so for eighth question there are two solutions the first one is option B, Java bytecode is generated by the compiler and the other one is option D, Java bytecode is machine independent. So mark B and D. And moving on to the ninth question, which of the following is an advantage of methods? So for ninth question, the answer is option A, code reusability. So mark option A as correct answer for ninth question. And moving on to the 10th one. So they gave two uh, classes. Main 1 and main 2. So they are asking which of the following is correct about the output. So when I did this individually, both this function gave 22 op as op uh, answer and this also 22 as answer. So you can see option C there. Both main 1 and main 2 classes give same output. So, the probable answer is option C. So friends, these are the solutions regarding week 4 programming in Java quiz assessment. And I will also provide the programming assignment answers. Please do look at that also. Hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. And if you want to suggest any changes to these answers, you can also ask that in the comment section. So, keep supporting us like this for further more videos. And also for different course answers, you can refer NPTEL playlist in my channel. So, until the next video, goodbye, thank you.